Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing and boy, am I in hog heaven today Just had some great news regarding the channel so I hope you've all subscribed and uh, what's the word, I hope you've all subscribed or clicked and uh, so you get alerted when any uh, videos come out straight away because I'm going to bring a vast amount of videos out this week you're all going to be in for a treat and you all too can be in hog heaven like me pigs flying around they say pigs might fly well pigs do fly I'll be flying when baby tin gets all of me won't I like a pig. I'm only joking. It's only banter. It's only banter. <laughs> right, let's just cut to the chase and just come straight out with it. This video is entitled Is Tyson Fury going to match room? Now back up a few months and look on my channel. I pointed things out and all the people that support Tyson Fury said no Russell you're wrong he's with Frank well listen to me Serafa Serifi Francesco Pianetta two wins two stoppages the Wilder draw Tom Swartz a stoppage Otto Wallin a stoppage so Tyson will be 4-0 and, and a draw once he's fought Otto Wallin. Now, he's undefeated Otto Wallin, so if anybody says anything about it, you're classed as a hater, or they'll come out with, well, he's undefeated. Tyson were undefeated when he beat Vladimir. And this is Otto Wallin's world title shot even though he's not fighting for a belt this is like uh, he shot at the big time a bit like the guy that Billy Joe Saunders just fought do we see a pattern here with these BT sport fighters who's Billy Joe Saunders fought since he beat Lemieux who who's Anthony Yard fought who not fought anybody he's not fought anybody then he's got a big bridging gap to, to Kovalev, if he gets injured against Kovalev, and don't forget Kovalev's already killed one man I think he killed a man, or he was critically injured, no he died, he did die so if Yard gets injured, who gets to blame for not bridging the gap? because Yard's not won a British title, a Commonwealth, a European or a world, or, or he's not even had a fought for a world title yet so how's he learnt his craft? He's had a handful of amateur fights, he's had a, hand, uh, uh, a couple of handfuls of pro fights. He's, he hasn't done that many rounds. If you check on box rate, you'll see he's not done that many rounds. Now, is this the PT, BT Sport model? So, I don't know, but the point I'm making is this. Tyson Fury is as ruthless as they come. I've met him, I've seen him being jokingly, I've also seen him... I know he can turn on a sixpence, Tyson. He'd take your eye out, knock you clean out. He'd have a terror print street with you. But he's also a nice kid as well who, who I suppose didn't handle it very good when he won world title, did he? But at the end of the day, I don't believe that he will stay with Frank Warren. There's a few things I could mention on this channel, but I'm not gonna as regards Tyson, and there's a few things I could mention as regards Frank Warren I'm not gonna but what I am gonna mention is this I have heard of somebody that the BT Sport deal is not what it appears to be Frank Warren's not gonna tell anybody that is he now 
So if B if MTK have engineered Billy Joe Saunders a move away from Frank Warren, they will engineer a move. I can assure you. They'll engineer a move away for Tyson Fury. If they're not getting the money from the UK end, what's the point? Does Tyson Fury sell a ticket in England? I'd still say it's a bit divided. I would. That's why he went to America like Amir Khan did. Amir Khan thought he was going to be the darling, didn't he, in England. And he were at the beginning, but then his behaviour started to upset people. He ran over somebody in his car. He started to be aloof, going around with entourage and things like that. Is Tyson going the same way? Is he handling it as good or has he overdone the promotion? I don't know, but I see chinks in the armour. I see chinks in the armour. Let's not forget, and whatever I say here, I'm going to be classed as racist or you're against gypsies or whatever. No, I'm not against gypsies. I've done more jail with gypsies than anybody else who's watching this channel. No. Gypsies are opportunists, aren't they? They have like a, a cold business sense. For example, who would have said Peter Fury? I'd have worked with Eddie Hearn. Oh, Re and Dillian White were calling Re uh, Huey Fury a retard and a crackhead. And spotty and all that, wasn't he, Dillian White? Nah. Who would have said that they'd have worked with Eddie Hearn again or go, go to match them? They wouldn't, would they? Maybe Mick didn't want to go. I don't know. But I know that it's the best decision for Huey's career. It's the way forward for Huey and Savannah. It's the best decision. Now, people are talking about Huey Fury. A couple of weeks ago, Eddie Hearn was slagging Huey off for fighting Samuel Peter. Now, Huey's best thing since sliced bread. See what I mean? Peter Fury hasn't been bothered. He's gone straight in there and got Huey on match him. It's business. Tyson Fury looks at it like this. It's business. All right? Business. I don't get it at times boxing. There's some people who come into Dennis's office and I I don't want to if there's people who come to Den's office, let me tell you this. And if I like them, I'll sit there. And if I don't, I'll go. And people can say, Well, what are you doing? How come you're not here? So I don't like him. You can't do that, Russell, as I can. That's how I am. I'll never change that. Art on the sleeve. But I think Tyson will leave, Frank Warren. Otto Wallins his fifth fight. Out of them five fights, he's had one hard fight and he got dropped twice. That's why I still believe you're not going to hear him again. Not with Frank Warren. But if he goes near him again, he'll be on Sky Sports. Yeah, he'll have more control. Plus he knows that he'll, be, he'll not be knee deep in legal matters now. Nine times out of ten, if you leave Frank Warren, it ends up messy. But if you've got MTK behind you, it doesn't end up messy, does it? Did it end up messy for Billy Joe? Amicable. Are you telling me that's amicable? No, 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 no. I'm not having that. No, 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 no. Not having it. You don't let world champions go. You've had from day one. Amicable. Come on. Hey? We're not being taught full picture. Is Frank trying to play this amicable route with Billy Joe? Or is BT Sport and Frank in trouble? Is Frank in trouble with BT Sport? Or are they making out they've gone their own separate ways for him to get the Callan Smith fights, get paid off Sky, come back and pay uh, Frank that way? I don't know. Why don't they do a joint venture? Are BT Sport not in it for long run? Channel 5 aren't, are they? Eh? So, are they going to be like Channel 5, dipping in and dipping out? Something is not right. I've had a phone call of somebody and they said that BT Sport deal, it's not happening. They're not happy with Box and they don't like the way it's going. So, is that Tyson Fury's fault? I don't know. Is it Billy Joe Sona's fault? I don't know. You've got to look at who they're fighting. They always say you're as good as your last fight, don't they? Who did Tyson Fury fight last? What was that? 
don't forget to hit the subscribe button you know why because you get alerted whenever there's a porky video coming out you get your porky fix pulled pork who did Tyson Fury fight last? Who won it, Stig? Tom who? Tom the Power Swartz. And who did Billy Joe fight last? A guy at 179.4 pounds, that's what Billy Joe weighed before he fought for 168 pound title. There his last two fights. But the guy who fought for the world title at 168 pound, can anybody tell me his name without checking on box rec? I do this for a living and I can't tell you his name correctly. Some dodgy funny name, foreign guy. Was well, that a gift for Billy Joe? Yeah. Did he get caught in that fight? Got caught once. Does Billy Joe beat Callum Smith? Yeah, I think he beats him. The big man though, Callum Smith, but that don't mean no. I see BT Sport being in trouble. It's all pointing to that way, isn't it? I hope I'm wrong. A couple of people I've spoke to saying the same thing, reading between lines. So I don't know. All amicable. There's no such thing as amicable. You don't let world champions go. Two weight world champions, 28 and 0, 29 year old, and you're not suing him. I am not buying it. Tyson Fury is on a five fight deal. Their words, not mine. He's had four fights. Otto Wallin's last fight. Seda for Sarifi, Pianetta. This is how I see it. Seda for Sarifi came back. He's allowed that one. Pianetta shouldn't have been allowed that. Did what he had to do. Were terrible in both fights. Couldn't get him out there, could he? Technically, he couldn't. I know there was stoppage wins but he couldn't he couldn't he couldn't do to him what he did to Tom Swartz but Tom Swartz we're talking here but back up a little bit while the fight he's supposed to be stronger faster quicker than a speeding bullet got dropped twice twice couldn't get Wilder out there he had an opportunity he couldn't pull the trigger do you know why he couldn't pull it because of what we're coming back still a world-class fighter and Tyson Fury, in my opinion, he's got the most skills out of all of them. But he's vulnerable around here. He's vulnerable around the whiskers. He's not vulnerable there in the heart. Vulnerable around the whiskers. Because his legs are not strong. And he can't pull the trigger with punching. It's caught up with him. 31 year old. He's 31 year old, Tyson, next week. So... It's all downhill from here. It's a case of picking up as much money as you can. When you're getting $12 million to fight Tom Swartz and $11 million to fight Otto Wallin, right, you're going to think to yourself, do I take these fights with these Class C stroke D guys or do I fight Wilder for a couple of million more and get my brain scrambled? Now let me think about that. Before all you people start hitting the dislike button and hammering me, think about what I've just said. Who was Tyson Fury's last opponent? Silence, that's all I'm hearing. Who's his next opponent? Who? I can't hear you, mate. Otto Wallin. I know who Otto Wallin is. I should do. I'm in boxing game, aren't I? But have a look at Otto Wallin on box rec. That is a shocker. And anybody who's a Tyson Fury fan, well, they already have. They've been emailing me. They know it's a shocker. But they're not going to stay, are they? They know it's a shocker. If Eddie Hearn put so the equivalent, one of his fighters, the equivalent to Tyson, well, there isn't anybody, is because he's got mega skills. If Joshua or Dylan White went in with Otto Wallen, you'd say, oh my god. If you if you if Otto Wallen, you'd say, oh my god. But Otto Wallen's gonna get a... He's gonna get a profile off this fight, isn't he? And he'll fight all the rest of them, won't he? It's like a merry-go-round, isn't it? He goes round and round and round. Until all our heads are done in. Slowly but surely, these boxers have a sense of entitlement. And so they should the boxers, but... 
They're trying to get away with murder. Otto Wallin. Otto Wallin. Tyson Fury. The Laniel heavyweight champion of the world. This is the poster already. I've seen it on social media. Versus Otto Wallin. A Swedish guy. Tyson's in America. He's got to fight an American next. So he fights Tom Swartz, a German. And now Otto Wallin. What a Wally. Bob Aram is. Frank Warren, is he bothered? No, he's not bothered. He's going to be getting paid out of it all. He's going to be getting paid, isn't he? But let me tell you this. Frank Warren won't go up against MTK, will he? Why not? I mean, not suing them for Billy Joe going, is he? It's all amicable, isn't it? I don't buy that amicable, mate. I'm a realist. I'm too long into 49 years of age in October. And I am not buying Otto Wallin. I'm not buying it. It's the fifth fight on his deal he signed with Frank Warren. Is that the end of the deal now? I don't know. Will his money be delayed from the UK part of the deal with Frank? I doubt it because he's with MTK. It's like an insurance policy. Everybody gets paid, don't they? Good move by Tyson going with them. You with you is with MTK. They've engineered you to uh, BT. So... What what are we not what are we not hearing here? What 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 what's wrong? What's wrong at the moment here? What what's what what we're we not hearing? There's some I don't know, my spider sense is tingling and like I said, there's a few other people's spider sense. Their their spider sense is tingling as well. Anybody think I were like Spider Man? But this is how I look at it. This is how I look at it. Otto Wallin shouldn't be in the same ring as Tyson Fury. Do you the fans agree with that? Leave a comment. What do you think? It's not just about what I think. I can't just come on here. I'm not a performing monkey for everybody. But what do you think? I'm in front of camera. I'm not behind camera. I'm in front of camera. I'm not a keyboard warrior. I'm telling you things. There's a lot I can't tell you. There's, there's so much I can't tell you. And there's so much that gets took out of these videos that I'd like to tell you. But I just want you to open your eyes. Think about it. Think about BT Sport. Think about Billy Joe Saunders. 2008 Olympian. Signed with Frank Warren. We're now 2019. Two weight world champion. Area, Southern Area champion. British Commonwealth European world champion. And then wins a the world title and another belt. I know the WBO belts. I know Billy's only beat two world champions in... Andy Lee. David Lemieux, could say free technically, if you say Eubank with IBO belt, that's it, 28 fights, beat John Ryder, that's a good win, you see his fringe level world class, won't you John Ryder, so he's got four good wins on his record, he's a masterful boxer, he's ended up a millionaire before he's 30, a good millionaire, multi-millionaire, but look at it like I do, why would you go with somebody all that way and then leave why is that can't Frank deliver them fights is there a problem behind the scenes we have in Canelo and Golovkin fighting Billy Joe in the UK there's not a problem with American money is there has the Billy Joe got an American backer we don't know do we is the BT Sport what it appears to be we don't know do we but Billy Joe Saunders, I'd say, is a big chunk. It's a big chunk there, gone. So, I don't know. What about Carl Frampton? Why ain't his fight being sorted? We don't know, do we? All I do know is that MTK are on good shows and fighters are getting paid on time, so... Shout out to MTK, they're doing well. Now, if they've got Billy Joe with Eddie Earn, that's good, isn't it? Because Eddie Earn's a safe bet, he delivers. He goes out to bat for his fighters, doesn't he? I don't like how he goes about his business. But the guy is effing Rambo. The guy is Rambo. John Rambo of Essex. Eddie Earn is Rambo. So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing.
don't forget to click the subscribe button and like button because you will get notified when the next videos come out let's grow this channel together all right let's grow this channel and let's help Dennis out let's grow Dennis as stable and you can all be part of it and enjoy the journey that's uh, about it really so peace out Otto Wallin Otto bloody Wallin oh my god it gets worse oh 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 tell me why like Mondays tell me why I'm reading the beat here the beat that's all folks